Hello everyone, and today we're going to talk about patch 7.1, which arrived last week. And yeah, it's full of issues, really. It hasn't really changed much. Uh, so you do get a new raid, new operation, uh, which is interesting. Um, you get a new daily area on Manan. And uh, the problem with this new daily area is they have, again, locked it behind story content. Now... I never finished the story because the last quest was bugged. I did go in today and I did go through the ruins of Null Flashpoint four times. The game crashed to desktop. That was fun. Uh, so I don't get why they do that because the story content is pretty difficult to get through. I mean, ruins of Null was a tough flashpoint. Too many and a half to get through it. Um, so that included the three restarts that I had to do, well restarts of the game, not the computer, but that was, uh, and we did it on stream as well, there was a couple of crashes and a blue screen of death, uh, when I did it when, uh, 7.0 came out. So not great quality there, and none of my alts are gonna do it, um, because again, most of my alts are at Spirit of Vengeance, because Spirit of Vengeance was a real quit moment, um, for me at least. Um, I am not doing that flashpoint. Whoever does, there's a special place in hell reserved for the team that designed that flashpoint. I don't know what they were doing. At least give us the option. I'm saying this to EA. EA, I would pay money to skip the story content in Swotor. And you can't do it by buying like a, you can only buy a level 70 character and um, Spirit of Vengeance is a level 75 uh, flashpoint, so you can't skip it. Come on EA, I have money in my hand, it's so bad I'd pay to skip it. In fact, it'd be better if they just deleted Spirit of Vengeance. Uh, I've, did it in the, I've did it in the tactical mode though, in the group finder it's actually not too bad, but on your own, pretty terrible. Um, I hate it, I hate the mobs. It's sad because the content before that, with the, the story content where you fight the Emperor, that's pretty good. Apart from that Emperor fight, that's awful. Where you fight the Tenebros, Tenebrae, Valkorian, and Vitiate. You have to fight all three forms of the Emperor. Um, that's a terrible solo fight. But the rest of the story up to that point is good. It's pretty good. That's a pretty good little section. You go through with Revan. You get Ghost Revan. And it's pretty nice. And you get different... You can go through it with... Um, what was his name again? I forget his name. The Sith guy that I liked. I cannot remember his name. Uh, Darth Mar it was. Darth Mar. I couldn't remember. Which was, what is his first name? Visus was the character from KOTOR 2. But Darth Mar. We'll just go with Darth Mar. Um, yeah, going through it with Darth Mar and Revan and seeing old characters. Uh, Mitra Surik as well from KOTOR 2 uh, makes an appearance. He of course was the Exile in case you're wondering. Um, that was quite nice. That was the only bit of story content I've enjoyed, sort of, post-Hut Cartel. I mean, I don't get this this thing that with SWOTOR that it has a great story. It had good, the class stories were good. I liked them. Well, some of them were good. Um, you had the Imperial Agent is the best one. I re started replaying that again. Uh, incidentally, the leveling experience in 7.0, awful. That's my review of it, it is awful. A lot of times you'll gain four or five levels without gaining any new abilities, without gaining anything new. Really, it's really a slog. And then I did a, a Flashpoint uh, as a level 20 character. I did Athos. Um, a bunch of us were sort of lowish level. I think I was the highest level player there, and I was level... No, in fact, there was a level 60 sorcerer um, who insisted on hitting mobs with their lightsaber. Empire pugs, you know, you gotta say. Why are you hitting mobs with the lightsaber? You've only got one melee attack now, and the rest of them are all ranged. There's a clue. I don't know why they have that, though. I don't understand that. Uh, same with Telekinetic Sage and the Lightning Sorcerer. Why do they still have Force Lightning there? They've pruned a lot of abilities, yet Force Lightning is still there. Not even usable in that spec, so I don't get why they have that there. It's it's stupid, really. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, we had a sage that was whacking level sixty, whacking people with a lightsaber. I was like, why? Uh, and I was level twenty two, operative. I thought fact, it was level. I was level twenty eight, operative. Athos is level twenty two, flashpoint. Is what I was trying to make. Level twenty eight, operative. Uh, tanking. 
Um, basically running out of energy using my basic attack. I'm still tanking, really. Uh, took about an hour to do that flashpoint. It was terrible. See, Athos used to be a level 20, well, 22 level flashpoint. Around that, it was in the early 20s anyway. Now it's scaled up to level 80. It just doesn't make any sense. The game's scaling is terrible. Uh, it's a terrible experience. Um, don't do tactical flashpoints under level 80, or at least at low level. Wait till you get more abilities at least. Uh, or, you know, be a level 60 sorcerer. I wish I'd recorded it because it was quite, it was kind of funny, uh, in a sense. But, of course, I didn't, I couldn't stealth CC things. So we couldn't skip trash, which is annoying. Because you don't get the sleep dart until level 35, which is annoying. It was only level 28 at the time. Uh, I wish I'd known that, then I wouldn't have done it. Uh, but there you go, don't queue for flashpoints under leveled. Because, again, they're terrible. Uh, old Athis beforehand would have scaled nicely. We'd have been a nice level. Well, in fact, we'd have been over-leveled for it and we'd have been able to solo it. But um, I, it was designed for level 20s. And, you know, you couldn't do it in level 20s now because of the scaling. Because it just scales you up to 80. But, of course, you don't have any abilities. You don't have any tacticals. And you don't have any legendaries. So you're kind of hopeless, really. Uh, there was no level 80s in the group either, so again, we were all kind of hopeless for DPS. So not a great experience leveling in 7.0, I've got to say, uh, or even 7.1. Uh, another issue I have is they have upgraded all of the gear now that you can upgrade. Because I was primarily doing flashpoints, 326 was the maximum gear I could get, and I got my character, main character, into 326 gear, and I'd augmented the gear. Uh, this was a mistake going into 7.1 because now you can upgrade the gear uh, the flashpoint gear goes up to 330 now. You might think that this is good but because I've augmented all my gear, basically what happens when you upgrade your gear, uh, bear in mind you don't get upgrades in a flashpoint uh, anymore. So if you've got 326 gear, 326 gear will drop. 326 gear drops in veteran flashpoints now as well as uh, master mode now so at least there's that but the problem is you only get the upgrade at the end when you do your weekly quest uh, you get the chest which gives you an upgrade the problem is upgrading to 328 isn't an upgrade if you've augmented because you're gonna if you do go through the flashpoint stabilizers and go to upgrade it will delete the augmentation kit It'll delete the augment if you keep it in there, but you can remove the augment, you can easily extract that. But, again, if I upgrade that to 328, I'm gonna lose the tertiary stats that I'd put in. It's now a downgrade now, uh, until I augment it. So what it means is now, as I have to go and grind now for augmentation kits, because I can craft them myself, so I have to go grind for materials again to get the augmentation kits. The augments themselves, we don't need to grind for them again. Just remove the augment before you upgrade. Because if you do that, uh, if you if you upgrade it with the augment, and it will delete the augment. So don't... At least you can extract the augment, but you can't extract the augmentation kit. Uh, which is a shame. So now I have to go grind for those Mark 11 augmentation kit materials again. Uh, which is really annoying, really, and it's really it's really poor design, I feel, and it really doesn't incentivize you to upgrade your gear. I mean, in theory, I don't need to upgrade my gear because we can do all the flashpoints, and I'm probably not going to do the operation anytime soon, so uh, mo all the guilds that you're in are dead. Uh, most of the people have left the game, so there's nothing... Uh, really to do now. Uh, no new flashpoints. Again, I'll probably try out the Manan daily area, but I'll only be able to do it on one character, um, which is a shame because, um, you know, a new daily area shouldn't be linked to the story. It's only dailies that you're doing. Why do we need, why do they need to be linked to the story, and why do we need to complete the god-awful parts of the story in, um, in, on every character? That's stupid. You should do it on one character and then unlock it for that entire faction of characters. So you only have to do it twice at least, once per faction. That would be good. But anyway, that is all for this video. Uh, so 7.1 hasn't really changed much. Uh, but anyway, thank you for joining me and we'll see you again soon and goodbye.